recently got the usual message of What happened to your friend that you always used to do funny videos about how mad dogs are and shit? Now all you do is bitch about scummer. I'm so Fine, point taken. I'll bitch about Gladys Berejiklian. She sucks more than White Wings triple chock muffins. If she was in the animal kingdom, she'd be a penis snake. The same question applies. Why do you exist? Unlike Lewis the Koala, Gladys has escaped from the bushfires completely unscathed. Her polling is fine. That is the pattern of a premiership. She likes burning things. Koalas, tens of thousands of Australians. You know she's cut 12,000 jobs from the public sector. Did you? You didn't know that, did you? Go on, admit it. You didn't keep your eye on the ball and now this happened. Nice. Why don't you press the like button just to absolve your sins a bit, eh? You're not going to sleep otherwise. Pathetic. She's cut from the disability sector. Whoa, what a nice lady. Prison staff from already dangerously understaffed prisons. No wonder that guy from the vomiting song works at Coles now. Ain't nobody hiring. Education workers, because if there's one thing you can glimpse from going to schoolies, it is that this country is too educated. I have no choice but to drink myself stupid because I suffer from what is known by its Latin name as Smarticus Arsicus. Now, if you ask the New South Wales Liberals why did they do this, the nice reason they'll tell you is to raise efficiency dividends. They made 12,000 families last Christmas awkwardly pretend. <laughs> oh, sorry, Benny, mate. I thought when you said Switch, you were talking about Will Smith's smash hit single, Switch. Better luck next Christmas. For a number on a spreadsheet to go up. And just to show you how pathetic that number is, it was this, now it's this. Yeah! That's what 12,000 families are worth to you, South Wales Liberals. 1%. Now remember, that's the nice reason. Because you know what efficiency dividends is code word for? Bleeding budgets of departments dry, because it's not like they were using it for anything important, to cover Gladys Berejiklian's fuck ups. God, I wish this was the 50s so the next bit sounds fresh. I mean, uh, take that, uh, what you call it, New South Wales Light Rail. Please, huh? You know what I'm talking about? Holy moly. They say you can make lemonade out of lemons, but I'd rather keep the lemons, because if you roll them down the hill, they might actually go faster than the thing. Its maiden voyage took so long that some of the maidens on board were widows by the time it finished. Uh, it's rough, I tell you. The Statesmen have been brought to you by... Nabisco, bakers of your favorite cookies and crackers. Two years over schedule, and it was $1.3 billion over budget. You know how much Gladys scraped from efficiency dividends? 1.1 billion. That means all those people lost their jobs for one of her mistakes, and she's still in the hole for 200 million, and she gets to keep her job. Jesus. People think Kim Kardashian's selfish? Oh no, I forgot to carry the one. Oh well, I'll just make 12,000 families redundant. They'll be happy to lend a hand. They're public servants. I'm a member of the public bros. I wish I could stop saying this, but... That's not the half of it. Let's walk through this together and you tell me at the end why she doesn't belong in a nut house. Can't institutionalise me if I efficiency dividend the fuck out of the institution. When Gladys was Transport Minister, she received a report from New South Wales Infrastructure that said that a CBD light rail had, quote, no material speed benefits and would be significantly more expensive than bus services. To which she said, No, I'm getting a second opinion. Infrastructure Australia then told her that a light rail may not lead to higher capacity than existing bus services. Oh, that's all those damning. And all also said, congestion within Sydney CBD would worsen with a light rail system by 12%. Oh, actually, that's way more damning. I'll just go with New South Wales's recommendation. They essentially told her, if you want to make the worst possible choice, build the light rail. Okay, I'm the boss. She built the light rail. Keep in mind, emergency services fire chiefs also told her, we need more money to stop the worst mess possible. And she cut $150 million from their budget to pay for the light rail. Is that the most oppositional behaviour you've ever heard, including two-year-olds? Do a poo in the potty, Gladys. No. no. Nevertheless, she persisted. Gladys Berejiklian bravely ignored all expert advice. And I really need to stress this by peeking the mic. All! She did what state liberal governments do best. She made every possible service in New South Wales worse to build the worst possible service. And by doing so, prove the experts wrong, as the light rail is far worse than they could have possibly imagined. It takes 50 minutes to complete its route. You know how long buses took? 35. Let's take a moment to put that in historical context. 1964, the Japanese government unleashes the world's first bullet train. 2020, Gladys Berejiklian builds the electric tortoise. Yeah, go Franklin. Take them the rush hour, the rush hour, stitch. I've been on the track when the tram is coming. It was like the Austin Powers sketch. No! 
you saved my life, Gladys. You know why they did this? Well, we don't actually know in the same way that we don't know for certain that Baz Luhrmann is currently sipping a coffee and saying, I love it. Contracts went to a company called Transdev, sick name, whose CEO, Luca Gaudi, raises many questions. The first one is, how many times do you think he said this sentence in his life? Yeah, I might be him, I might not be. Who's asking? Prominent member of the CPA, and oh, look who else is. Wish Joan Rivers was still alive to announce. Oh, oh, it's ex New South Wales Liberal Premier and Federal Lib President Nick Greener. Oh, oh, also Richard Aston, I tell you, he makes me look alive. Seriously. So to tie this all together, Gladys Berejiklian cut 12,000 people from the front line. We're talking police officers, AMBOs, National Parks officers, not to pay for a useless project, to pay for the useless parts of a useless project. All the overtime in builders saying, Oi, where have you been, Trevor? Toilet, bro? You fucking serious for an hour, bro? Yeah, cause I did a shit. She crippled state services to figuratively and literally pay for shit as part of a big piece of shit project that was approved for the sole reason of giving her friend something to do. Everyone's gotta keep busy. What about all the people you laid off, Glad? Well, I don't know who any of them's are. Victimless crime. This is not isolated. This is how Gladys Berejiklian governs. The stadium rebuild, the powerhouse move, the new Metro Bankstown line, West Connects, all record smashing infrastructure projects. Some of the most expensive infrastructure projects on earth that are not just white elephants. White elephants would be an upgrade. These are war elephants just <laughs> totaling the rest of New South Wales infrastructure that's already built. That's our premier, Hannibal of wrecking her own city. Well done spending billions of dollars to make New South Wales worse. No wonder she's so popular. It is honestly so disparaging. I don't know what we can do other than Make me richer in ad revenue. Honestly, I really don't see another way out. Seriously. We need to make this channel bigger because no one else in the media covers this third world level corruption. That's what it is. They're all in on it. If you ask two of your friends to subscribe, we will have a channel the size of Channel 7's audience. Do you think the average Joe will be pleased to find that the reason our fire trucks are woefully slow to answering emergency calls is because Gladys Berejiklian seems to think, yeah, slow and steady wins the race, that's a good thing. No, it's just that most people don't know how corrupt Nightmare Big Bird actually is. Tell two of your friends to subscribe to Geordie Pies. The less votes she has, the better it is for everyone. And if you don't have the courage to ask two people that you talk to in everyday interactions for the smallest of favours, let this man be a shining beacon of confidence for you. Yeah! Yeah! Fred Vaughn! You heard him! Yeah! Please share and comment below. Come in.